Hey guys, no one's to up here today. I have a 1988 Hunter Original 25572 ceiling fan. This fan is technically, well, I guess one of my first originals. I, I got two originals of the Fanimation trip a, a while back, actually. And one's a 46 inch white one, which I actually recently restored. And this one. What a, my dad walking by. Anyway, um. Not cold this light yet, put this light kit on it. It came with a switch cap, which is in my closet right now. Free speed. There's a tag. Here's right there. There's the model number. There's the top tag. You can see that. It's being retarded so we probably can't um, oddly enough forward is up on a reverse switch this stupid light could screw off ow that was a box I had to step on not really but you know hit anyway, well, what's better to light on or off I think the light kind of washes out a bit. Anyway, here's a little. It is oiled. Because I'm not retarded. When I got it, the canopy was like black and crappy, so I repainted it brown. It actually turned out well. Here's medium. This fan has a 1.1 amp motor. And it has those linear blades that the Legacy's originals have. Which kind of sucks. Uh, As you can see, it's actually mounted to the beam, and I kind of have a piece of white tape over the box. It's totally not safe, but you know what? Who cares? I'll try it fine. No, I don't do spin downs because that's dumb. Bearings are fine, as you can tell. Just want to show you this. The blades are in pretty terrible shape. What even is that? It's like, I don't know. This is how it was when I got it. This one I bought from Jeffrey Leland Doctor for 
80 bucks. Um, pretty good fan, I guess. It's on the best of conditions. Anyway, um, pretty good fan. The screws are actually the same size as the Casablanca. Um, I think 1224. And, driver. hold on, let me see. These screws right here, 1224, 1224 and three and a quarter. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.